Seawolves baseball returns to downtown Erie tonight with this year's home opener. This is new at noon. It's a big day for the team, the fans, and the city. Sean Lafferty is live at UPMC Park with the countdown underway. Hi, Sean. Welcome to UPMC Park in sun-drenched downtown Erie, Pennsylvania in the middle of April. How often can we say that? Well, the timing couldn't be much better. Of course, tonight, as you mentioned, is the home opener for the Erie Seawolves. They're already off to a great start. They took two out of three from Akron in the rubber city. But again, Really the headline as we talk pregame is the weather. We have the beautiful sunny skies. We have the temperatures in the 60s. We just checked the temperature down here on the field before we went on. It is 63 degrees. You've got that beautiful, beautiful April sun kind of uh, washing over us right now. But if you have been uh, in Erie for any length of time and come down to the ballpark, you know that this is a bit of a rarity. We have had just about everything on opening day, and it's not often sun and 60s. It's more often cloudy, maybe a little rain, maybe some snowflakes. Greg Gagne has some very interesting um, stats about that. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, you know, but this is... Uh, it's not a problem at all when you talk weather-wise for the park. The grass looks beautiful. The field looks like it's the end of May, not the middle of April. Let's come on back if we haven't already. Greg's here now. Good to see you, man. Good you're, to see you. You're smiling and for obvious reasons here today. Um, you just have a marketing dream uh, for the Erie Seawolves here. I can't tell you how many times we've gone into opening day saying, how am I going to sell 42 and snowy? <laughs> and th this is the f only the fourth time since 2004 we're going to have an opening day above 60 degrees. And the previous three had over 4,000 in the ballpark. So, you know, the, the players who were here last year, their last experience of the ballpark in Erie was a packed house for the playoffs. And they want to see that again tonight because this is just a perfect, picturesque day for baseball. All right, we talked about the fact that you did some research. You've come up with some really amazing numbers just to point out how dicey opening day can be and how different it is right now. Yeah, our last opening day above 60 degrees was in 2014. Our best one ever was 72 and sunny back in 2010. Uh, but I was looking through the numbers and I can't tell you how many it was, you know, misty in, in 42 or, you know, kind of kind of foggy in 51. And it, this is just a dream for us. And it's going to be like this all week. So we're expecting a really big week. Talk to me about the energy right now uh, surrounding the team, surrounding opening day. Yeah, you know, Sean, we, we ended on such a high last year, making the playoffs, going all the way to the end, and then kind of a low in that last game of the season in, in Somerset. Uh, but the guys are pumped, and the team, we have a really good team this year again, and, and it's not always the case when you make a playoff run that you have back-to-back -back really good teams on the field. We're in the midst of, of the most three years successful uh, stint in team history on the field. Uh, so it's been fun. The Tigers are still in rebuild mode, and, and we've reaped a lot of the benefits of that down here. All right, Greg, we'll continue the conversation at 1230. Appreciate you making time for us on what is obviously a very busy day for the team um, you know and what is good for the team and the fans here on the field is also good for the entire city um, so we will talk a little bit more about that at 12 30 uh, first pitch 607 Greg when do the gates open up five gates open up at five o'clock of course you got to get a rocket dog at least that's what I'm thinking I can hardly wait for my first rocket dog reporting live at UPMC Park in downtown Erie I'm Sean Lafferty. Back to you. Go Seawolves. All right. Thank you, Sean.